Hey guys, welcome back. Today's video is going to be a full face of drugstore makeup, a lot of Wet n Wild. I didn't have 100% Wet n Wild, but I threw in some other drugstore makeup. These products are amazing. I love them. I recently did a full face of MAC Cosmetics, so I'm kind of trying to do a lot more get ready with me's, whether it's drugstore, high end, whatever. I just like videos of people applying makeup. So if you are new, please subscribe. I upload four videos a week. I'm currently on a no buy for three months, which is exciting. So I'm just playing with the makeup that I already have. I will list the products in the description box. And also I'm trying a different tripod today. So the angle is very different. I don't know how I feel about it. Let me know. I'm just experimenting, just experimenting. Um, my other tripod is very, very flimsy. So I thought I would try something different. So anyway, let's just get started. I do have on the MAC Painterly Paint Pot, but the Milani Eye Primer is drugstore amazing. I love it. I have oily eyelids and it's fantastic. Okay, Wet n Wild. So this color icon palette, this is I think only $5. I bought this at Target. Now I'm not gonna say, oh, this is just as good as Natasha Denona or Indie Brands or you know, other fantastic, fantastic eyeshadows, but these are really, really good eyeshadows. I really like them. I think it's pretty easy to work with. So I wanted to do a look with this palette. This is the Heart and Soul palette. Like I said, I think it's only $5. Um, so let's just do a look with it. Let's just have fun with makeup. That's honestly all I want to do. Um, I'm going to start with the Peachy Matte Shade. And, oh, hold on, my eye primer. Yeah, this sometimes happens if my eye primer has been sitting there for a little bit. I do set it with a little bit of an eyeshadow, but I also put on eye cream not long before. So sometimes that happens. Yeah, let me know what you think of this camera angle. Oh, I don't know, I just feel like it's so like up there. I don't know, <laughs> but this, uh tripod is much higher quality than my other tripod um oh no i put on eye cream and i shouldn't have put that on right before my makeup yeah so let me know what you think i feel like this eye cream is put on too much i don't know i used the one from rose ink which is pretty lightweight i don't know what happened anyway it's fine so this burgundy shade here is so beautiful. I definitely want to use that one. And yeah, if you guys want to see other makeup looks, let me know. I just want to film, get ready with me because I enjoy filming them and I enjoy watching them. And since I'm not buying new makeup, not like going to be reviewing new makeup, obviously. So yeah, I'm just going to use what I have. Although, granted, I bought plenty of makeup in January. If you saw, I uploaded three haul videos. I know. But it was my birthday, so, you know, I'm not that mad about it. This color is so nice. I really enjoy it. All right. I want to put a bit of the dark brown. Very nice. Very nice. And yes, if you have drugstore makeup you love, please let us know. Oh, I also did buy a Profusion palette, which I showed in a haul. I've only used it once, but I thought it was really good. So I'm hoping to do a look with that palette at some point too. I bought the Profusion Meadow palette. It is stunning. I want to use this shade right here and then the lighter pink next to it. I might put that on on top. Elf setting spray. Amazing stuff right there. Yeah, I think this is really pretty. It's a good eyeshadow palette. Like I said, it's not as good as, you know, Natasha Denona. You have to build it up a bit more, but I think it's very beautiful and easy to work with. So that's pretty awesome. Can't complain about that, honestly. You know, I might just leave it. I was gonna put, that color is so pretty. It's almost like a rose gold. I was going to maybe put the other pink on top, but I don't think I'm going to. I like it. 
are you guys on no buys, low buys? A lot of people told me in my no buy intro video that they are also on low buys and no buys. So I hope it's going well for you. I admit for me, it's been going pretty well. It's only been like two weeks, two and a half weeks. Um, but I haven't really been tempted to buy anything except the only thing that cosmic brushes palette that came out looks really nice. But I'm like, I have those colors in other palettes and I have so many eyeshadow palettes. I have like, I think 130 eyeshadow palettes now. I know it's a lot. So I am the ideal person to be going on a no buy. So yeah. Okay, I'm going to add more of the burgundy and blend this out a bit, but I'm really liking these colors. I am loving the eye look. It's so beautiful. I did put the teeny tiniest bit of this light pink, just barely in the set, just barely, hardly anything. Let's use this primer from Wet n Wild. It's the Impossible Primer. It says it's silicone free, but it feels like a silicone primer, which I don't have any problems with silicone. That is not an ingredient that my skin is sensitive to, but I was just so surprised that this feels like a silicone primer, which I love. I love like a pore filling primer. And this is so nice. And it's only $5. Very lovely. Big fan. So yeah, this stuff is fantastic. Um, again, I think I bought this at Target. And then the Wet n Wild Foundation. I don't know what's going on with this because I tried this years ago and I didn't really love it. I thought it was too matte. Um, but now I actually really like it. So it's the Photo Focus Matte in Soft Ivory. That is my shade. I don't know. I don't think it's too matte. Maybe my skin has changed. I'm not sure though, to be honest, who knows? Maybe it's like my skincare is different or whatever. I have no idea, but I actually really like this foundation. It does have a slight paint smell, but it's very subtle. Another amazing drugstore foundation I love is the one from e.l.f. Um, this Wet n Wild one is more cost effective though, because the e.l.f. one, you don't get a full fluid ounce, um, but the Wet n Wild is really, really nice, and I'm definitely enjoying it. I also bought the Maybelline Matte and Poreless, and then the L'Oreal Infallible, which I like as well. Um, I don't know which one I like the best. I need to like use them back to back and see how I really feel about it, um, but this one is lovely. Okay, the e.l.f. Hydrating Camo Concealer. This is so good. Um, I've gone through two of these in the past, and this is the shade Light Beige. I'm a fan. It's a really, really nice concealer. Very, very nice. Another really good drugstore concealer is there's one from CoverGirl. I've had that one um, in the past, but it's been a while since I've had it. I'm still not convinced by this camera angle. I know I keep talking about it, but let me know your thoughts. I'm just trying something different. We'll see. As far as face powder, um, I admit from the drugstore, there wasn't a lot that I used to like, but now there's several um, and they work on my under eyes too. So this is the Wet n Wild Bare Focus Powder. Oh, you can see that. I like this on my under eyes. I also like the Essence one, the Essence Banana Powder. That works nicely on my under eyes and my face. Also the e.l.f. Halo Glow, which is a loose setting powder. I enjoy that one quite a bit as well. But yeah, drugstore powders have, I don't know, they've really improved. So I'm happy about that. For bronzer, the e.l.f. bronzer, the Forever Sunkiss, that's the shade. Um, I think it's the primer infused. I also have one of the primer infused um, blushes and they're really, really nice. So this formula is great. Really like it a lot. I'm trying to think of other, I guess, I, yeah, I have the butter bronzer um, and I like that one too. I like the color of this one better. And I think e.l.f. has 
definitely has more shade options, I'm pretty sure. For blush, we're going back to Wet n Wild in Pinch Me Pink. Again, I'm really, really into this blush. It's very, very nice. I think it is lovely. Look at that. That's so pretty. I feel like it just blended out very easily. I cleaned this room today and I also reorganized my nail polish, which is down there. And then I also, um, cause I'd got these acrylic organizers for that and two of them I didn't need for the nail polish. So I used, um, for the perfume, I admit, I hate doing my makeup in my room right after I clean it because I just know like the makeup flies everywhere. When I clean this room, like wipe off the countertop, even over there, I have a dresser over there. When I wipe it off, it's like pinkish brown from makeup powder. It's crazy. I don't know. Does anyone else like have weird things about <laughs> cleanliness? But yeah, just makeup is messy. It really, really is. All right, highlighter. Uh, ColourPop in Flip Flop. This one's very nice. And I like this formula more. So this is a Super Shock Cheek. Now, there's also the Super Shock Cheek that is so difficult to say that's in a circular packaging, like Flexitarian, which I completely panned Flexitarian last year, which was amazing. I think the formula in the compacts is different than the one in the circle packaging. I like this one better. This is more like a cream to powder where the ones like Flexitarian seem more like a true cream. And I feel like those, I don't know, you can see my texture more with those. I, it's just not really my favorite. Finishing powder. I'm using Essence Pure Nude. Of course I am. I love this stuff. <laughs> I use this all the time. I like it for blending blush, bronzer, and highlighter together. Beautiful highlighter too. I mean, you can just use it as a subtle highlighter also. It's very, very nice for that. So I am going to do brows, mascara, lips, and I'll be back. I'm loving the final look and it's apparently like also Valentine's themed and I didn't even plan that. For lips, I'm wearing the Wet n Wild lipstick in Bare It All, which is absolutely beautiful. And then I put a little bit of this uh, ColourPop Luxe Lip Oil and Hot Shot, which is one of my favorite glosses ever on top. That is the lip combo. Mascara, L'Oreal Voluminous Carbon Black. Been using this for a million and a half years. I did use my Merit Brow Mascara because I just finished my NYX one, but I do have a backup of the NYX and it's amazing. The NYX Thicket Brow Mascara, love it. That stuff is amazing. So this is it for the final amazing drugstore products look. I'm really into this look. I think it's beautiful. This foundation, really, really nice. Um, lip products, lovely. Highlighter, quite intense actually. And this Wet n Wild eyeshadow palette, I think is great. I think the look turned out really, really nice. This shade right here, um, I mean, look how nice that is. That's really, really pretty. And then this pink. Yeah, this one's a bit more subtle. This is the one that I kind of put just barely in the center. But these two matte shades here, this chocolatey brown and the burgundy are fantastic. So I am really impressed with this palette. It is really good and it's only $5. My only complaint is that I try not to close it all the way because it's very difficult to open. Let us know what you think of this look. Let us know your favorite drugstore makeup. Also, let me know what you think of this new camera angle. I don't know. I feel like I don't like it. I keep looking at it and I'm like, ah, this is weird. But anyway, this is a higher quality tripod. It's just, I don't know, kind of the wrong height. But anyway, is what it is. I'm trying my best. Thank you so much for watching. Like I said, I upload four videos a week. Please subscribe for more and have a great day.